Hey everybody, welcome back. Mike here at MH Tutorials. Well guys, today we're going to do something uh, different. Um, I got a subscriber request and it was related to a scene that was modeled where um, he wanted to have a character move through that scene where you would see the scene through the character's eyes. So it's not necessarily uh, animating the character, but more the, the path that the character will uh, follow through the scene, okay? And for that, it's uh, pretty neat because what you can do is you can create a path and attach a camera to it, and the camera will function as the character's eyes in this case. So we'll kind of uh, walk along with the character through the scene and uh, get a sense of what the scene looks like, all right? Now, just for uh, demonstration purposes, I loaded the scene that I uh, modeled a while back, which is this uh, Wild West uh, scene here. And uh, it's a pretty big scene, so uh, we're just gonna hit four for wireframe mode. And that will give us a bit more speed in the system. And we're gonna create a path through this uh, situation here. So we got the, uh, the saloon, the bank, we got a, uh, a house here, uh, gallows, a train, and so forth. All right. Now, first we're going to create our path. All right. So we're going to go to create CV curve tool. And you don't want to do this from the perspective view because it's really hard to position the line. So we're going to switch to our top. Okay. And in our top view, we're going to start to determine where our guy is coming from, where he's going, and so forth. So we're just going to start clicking. Let's say he's coming out from somewhere over here. And we're going to have our character follow the walkway. Go over here. He's going to turn around here. Still good going to turn around at the train, go underneath the uh, the water thingy here, over to the church, follow that round, next to the horse over here, in between the gallows and the, uh, the mercantile. And then we're going to move him over here, and he's going to go up the steps over this little walkway, down the steps again, and go back out of Dodge. Okay, and hit Enter. So that's our path. Now, if we check that from a perspective view, our path is at grid level, okay? So the eyes of the character are pretty much on the floor, and we don't want that. So we're going to hit W, and we're going to pull the whole thing up just a bit, not too much. Let's see if we're still okay. Maybe a bit more. All right. Now next, we have a couple of scenarios where our character is going up and down the stairs. So for that, we need to adjust the Y height. So we're going to right click on our curve. We're going to go to Control Vertex. And we're going to go to the areas where that is the case. And that is in this situation here. So we're going to select these vertices. And we're going to pull them up quite a bit. The same here. Maybe these a bit more. Add the stairs here. Okay. That's not too bad. All right, so we got that. So now that we got our path, next thing we need to do is to create a camera, okay? So we're gonna go up to create cameras and just uh, simply hit camera, there we go. Now it's located over there, that's fine. 
uh, we don't need to manipulate that because we're connect we're going to connect the camera to the path that we created all right so uh, what we're going to do is we have our camera selected we're going to shift left click so now we've got our camera and path both selected we're going to go to our animation tab go to animate uh, let me see where do you go go to motion path and attach to motion path and hit the option box we're just gonna reset this now there are a few things we want to do here first we want to select a start and an end now what do I mean by that this is our start frame frame one this is our end frame now how long do you want this walk to take okay uh, obviously if this were a fast car it, it would do this in I don't know let's say 10 seconds uh, somebody walking would take quite a bit longer now if you would typically have let's say 24 frames in one second then a 10 second walk would be 240 frames I, I want to do a bit more than that so let's go with 1500 frames which would be slightly more suitable for somebody walking okay we're going to leave that as it is. Now, for the front axis, we want this movement, the path movement, to be in the Z direction. Okay, and we have a few areas defined, like when he was walking up the stairs, where we're moving up. And on our green arrow here, you can see that's the Y direction. So for up axis, we want it to be in Y. We're going to leave that at vector. Now this is really important. Uh, we need to inverse front, otherwise the camera will be connected backwards to the path and you would be moving backwards. So we're gonna select that. And bank, well, that is more for, let's say if you had an airplane following this path and you want to turn in the curves, if you will, you would select that. Um, so I'm not really gonna do that right here. And we're gonna select attach, okay? So if all went well, and there we go, our camera is now on our path and it's pointing in the right direction, which is important. Now, one more thing we need to take care of, that is make sure you have 1200 frames here, okay? Because that will not change because you just set that to uh, beginning and start, uh, beginning and end, sorry. Okay. Now, for speed purposes, I'm going to leave this in wireframe mode because otherwise it would take quite a long time. Now, if I were to hit play right now, I would see my camera going around and I wouldn't see the desired effect. So last thing we need to do is go to panels, go to perspective and select camera one as your viewpoint. So right now you're looking through the camera. OK, we're all set. Now let's hit play and see what happens. And here we go. walking on our walkway a guy looks a little bit drunk apparently it's following our path next to the train still fairly fast but uh, you know I explained how you can tweak that so that's fine going back Going around the store here to the back. Let's see if he goes up on our stairs. And yes, he does. Very nice. And down the stairs again. And he's walking out of Dodge. All right. Well, that's all there's to it. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you've got any questions, let me know. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great new year and see you guys next time. Bye.